Here are the upcoming electric cars for 2024, 2025, and 2026. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate hub for automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. Smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, and show some love with a super thanks. The future is full of all new EVs. Here's what to expect in the coming years. We've driven a lot of cool new EVs at Inside EVs this year. Everything from sporty cars like the new Lotus Amaya to the Hyundai Ioniq 5N to family crossovers like the Kia EV9. But the most intriguing car is often the one we haven't met yet. A profusion of new EVs will be debuting over the next couple of years. Here are some of the ones we are most excited about. 2024 to 25. Alfa Romeo Giulia EV. Alfa Romeo revived its brand in the US with the Giulia sedan and its legendary and legendarily mercurial Quadrifoglio version. Nearly a decade later, we're finally getting a new version. It will be all electric and may be heavily related to the Dodge Charger Daytona EV. Audi Q6 e-tron. The Q6 e-tron is Audi's first vehicle on the new premium performance electric platform shared with the Porsche Macung EV. It's an all-electric dual-motor crossover that can deliver up to 456 horsepower with launch control. Audi is planning a full lineup with SQ6, RSQ6, and Sportback versions. Audi A6 e-tron. The next phase of Audi's EV revolution is having typical Audis go electric. It may not get more typical Audi than the A6 sedan, which is going electric as the A6 e-tron. Also built on the new PP platform, it packs a 100 kilowatt hour battery, net 94.9 kilowatt hours, that feeds a variety of powertrains. Audi says the base car will allegedly manage 466 miles on a charge, while the S6 can achieve 416, and the later A6 Quattro sits neatly in the middle with 435 miles. Those are European market figures, though, which tend to be far more optimistic than US EPA figures. Cadillac Escalade IQ. The Escalade nameplate has been perhaps the mainstay in the often evolving Cadillac lineup this century. And Cadillac is taking it into the electric era with the Escalade IQ. It doesn't look as boxy as the gas model, but it should bring the same combination of luxury and space into the EV world for a premium. And with up to 750 horsepower in velocity max mode, buyers won't miss the V8. Cadillac Optic. Cadillac is adding an entry-level IQ car to the lineup, the Optic. It's an all-electric compact crossover built on the Ultium platform. It's not that much cheaper than the Lyric, with Cadillac estimating a $54,000 starting price. But it will come well-equipped with dual-motor AWD, around 300 miles of range and three years of Super Cruise standard. Cadillac Vistic. Cadillac also has another IQ SUV joining the lineup, the Vistic. It will be a three-row electric SUV. Cadillac hasn't revealed a lot of the details yet, a tailgate badge suggests it is getting the Lyric's 500 horsepower powertrain, but expect it to be the electric equivalent of the XT6 slotting below the Escalade IQ for price and performance. Dodge Charger Daytona EV. Dodge is ditching its Hemi V8S for the eMuscle era with the Charger Daytona, promising kilowatts and power shots. Dodge is launching two 400V dual motor AWD versions, offering up to 670 horsepower, scat pack, and 317 miles of EV range. R slash T. For those not quite ready to go EV, Dodge is also building inline six powered chargers. GMC Sierra EV. GMC is launching its second electric truck after the Hummer EV SUT, the Sierra EV. It will be sold initially in the Sierra Denali EV Edition 1 version, and its specs are impressive. The truck will offer up to 754 horsepower and 440 miles of range, enough to still tow while experiencing substantial losses with 350 kilowatts fast charging to refill on the go. Hyundai Ioniq 9. Kia's three-row EV9 electric SUV has been a massive hit, taking home almost every award it has been up for. But nearly four years after Hyundai unveiled the concept car, we're still waiting for its version, likely called the Ioniq 9. It won't be as out there as the concept, which had rear-hinged coach doors, lounge seating, and a glass tailgate. But it should, like the EV9, offer a compelling electric option for families. Jeep Wagoneer S. Jeep's first EV is the Wagoneer S. It's launching to rival the Tesla Model Y on Stellantis's SDLA large platform with 600 horsepower and an estimated 300 plus miles of range. For anyone missing the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, the Wagoneer S will actually be quicker, with a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3.4 seconds. Jeep Recon. Jeep is waiting until 2028 
to build a full-bore electric Wrangler. But the brand will offer the next best thing in the interim, the Recon. The Recon is a boxy SUV, inspired by the Wrangler built on the SDLA Large platform. It should have removable doors and off-road-ready versions that earn Jeep's trail-rated badge. Jeep may also offer a combustion option. Lucid Gravity. The Gravity is a full-size SUV competing with the Rivian R1S Tesla Model X or the new Kia EV9. It is expected to start at around $80,000 and offer similar power to the Air Sedan. So there will probably be a 1,000 plus horsepower variant that utilizes the tri-motor setup from the Air Sapphire. It has a projected EPA range of up to 440 miles, and thanks to its 900-volt architecture, it will be among the quickest charging electric SUVs on the market. Practicality should also be high, with three rows of seats or a maximum load volume of 112 cubic feet and a 6,000-pound towing capacity. Mini Countryman Electric Mini is following up the Mini Cooper SE with the Mini Countryman SE, an electric version of its subcompact crossover. It comes with a peppy 313 horsepower and 363 lbft of torque, and a Mini estimated 245 miles of range would more than double the Cooper SE's 114 miles. Porsche Macung EV Porsche's most popular car is the Macung, and it's going electric for the next generation, though Porsche will still sell the combustion version alongside it. It has been delayed a bit due to VW software issues. But it should be worth the wait with a turbo version packing more than 630 horsepower and a, by Porsche standards, reasonable starting price. Though the options will bite. Porsche Electric 718. Porsche is reportedly killing off the combustion 718 Cayman and Boxster for 2025. The replacement will be an all-electric sports car. We don't have the full details yet, but it should ride on the same platform as the electric Macung. And the performance numbers, potentially exceeding 600 horsepower in top spec, could be eye-popping. Ram 1500 REV. Ram is the last of the big three, coming to the full-size electric pickup truck party. But the truck won't be leased in the specs department. Ram is promising that the truck will deliver up to 500 miles of EV range, with its massive 229 kilowatt hour battery pack. It can also tow up to 14,000 pounds and accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds. Range Rover Electric. Land Rover's first EV will be the Range Rover Electric. JLR has not given us the full info dump yet, but we know it will have an 800V architecture, have a weighting depth of 33.46 inches, about on par with a Defender on coil springs or a Ford Bronco Sasquatch, and importantly, look very much like the combustion Range Rover. Volkswagen ID. Buzz. It was only a matter of time before VW's EV Blitz leaned into the brand's nostalgia. And the brand is finally bringing the ID. Buzz, a modern all-electric nod to the Type 2 microbus to America. The US is getting the pricier long wheelbase version with three available trims, both RWD and AWD, and up to seven seats with the RWD model. Volvo EX30. Volvo perked up some ears when it announced the EX30. It's a pint-sized electric crossover. In AWD spec, it's the quickest Volvo ever made with a 3.4 second zero to 60 miles per hour time. Fitted with RWD, Volvo has said it will be the cheapest Volvo on the road with a price tag starting under $35,000. Tariffs on Chinese-built cars, however, have moved EX30 production and put the American release date and eventual price tag in doubt. Volvo EX90. Volvo's flagship vehicle is the XC90, a stately, practical three-row SUV. Volvo is quite sensibly recreating that in the EV space with the EX90. It seats up to seven, can pack nearly 500 horsepower, and delivers around 300 miles of range. Having entered production in America, the EX90 should arrive soon, though it may be missing a few features when it arrives. BMW Electric 3 Series. The 3 Series arguably define the modern BMW brand, in the late 20th century. It should help redefine it in the 21st century by going all electric on the new Nui class dedicated EV platform. And BMW appears to have been testing a quad motor setup for a full fat M version. Chevrolet Bolt EUV. GM killed off the Bolt just as it was becoming popular, but the nameplate should be making a swift return at a similar price point. We don't have the precise specs yet, but switching to GM's newer Ultium battery tech should make the new Bolt EUV faster to charge and cheaper to produce. Ford Project T3 Pickup Ford was the first of the big three to the EV truck market with the F-150 Lightning. But that truck, a modified version of the combustion F-150, 
is effectively dated tech. GM and Ram have new, more capable trucks arriving on dedicated EV platforms. Ford has confirmed it is designing a new EV pickup, codenamed Project T34 Trust the Truck, to match them, though that truck has been delayed. Genesis GV90 Genesis is developing its own flagship, three-row version of the Kia EV9, likely called the GV90. Earlier this year, Genesis offered a preview of it with the Neelan concept. Judging from previous Genesis EVs, we can expect a power upgrade over the EV9 and some fancier interior finishes. Rivian R2 Rivian has proved it can make a compelling, luxurious, capable electric SUV that consumers love. Its next task is more significant, build one that most people can afford. That's where the Rivian R2 comes in. The R2 is a compact electric SUV, similar in size to the Tesla Model Y, with a target price of around $45,000 before incentives. Rivian says the R2 will enter production in the first half of 2026. They will initially be built at Rivian's existing production facility in Normal, Illinois. Rivian R3. Rivian debuted its long-awaited R2 platform. But the car that arguably stole the show was the surprise debut of the smaller R3. It resembles a retro-futuristic rally car with Lada Neva and Lancia Delta Integral vibes. And it may bring Rivian EV tech to the masses with a price tag starting below $40,000. Rivian R3X. The Rivian R3X is a slightly more rugged, adventure-focused variant of Rivian's upcoming R3 hatchback. Rivian describes the R3X as a performance variant of R3 offering even more dynamic abilities both on and off-road. The base R3 will be the smallest, most affordable vehicle in the lineup and is estimated to have a starting MSRP under $40,000. The R3X pricing is expected to be a step above that, with unofficial numbers pegging it around $45,000. If this turns out to be accurate, it would put the top trim R3X in the same price bracket as an entry-level R2. Polestar 6. Polestar stunned just about everyone with the 0-2 convertible concept. And it's going to be a production car, the Polestar 6. It should pack nearly 900 horsepower and accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds. It will have a fancy bonded aluminum unibody construction. An LA Special Edition will come with that fancy sky blue paint. Porsche three-row electric SUV. Porsche is launching its first three-row, seven-seater production vehicle, codenamed K1. It will be a new flagship SUV that slots above the Cayenne. It will be all-electric with a low-slung body style, described as part sedan and part crossover. It should seat up to seven passengers. Expect it to be Porsche's most expensive car. Toyota BZ5X. Toyota has confirmed it has a new three-row electric crossover. Think Highlander but electric, coming to rival the Kia EV9. Toyota may have previewed it with its BZ large SUV concept. We don't know its name yet. We know it will be built in Indiana, alongside a Lexus version, and have a good shot at being eligible for the $7,500 tax credit. Volvo es 90. Volvo plans to go all electric by 2030. That will require getting a lot more EVs on the road. One of them should be a sedan, likely called the ES90, that will replace the current S90 sedan. Leaked documents suggest it should share substantial componentry with the three-row EX90 crossover. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that super thanks button. Until next time, happy diagnosing.